Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we're going to take a look at the highly anticipated Paso Fino horses that Star Stable released accidentally a few weeks ago. Today, however, is their official release date, so from today on, everyone can buy these horses. It is possible that you've seen these horses around for a while, but that's because when Star Stable released them accidentally, some people were able to buy them before Star Stable eventually removed them from the game again. And SSO actually let these people keep the horses because other Otherwise, because otherwise they would have lost their star coins which is not fair because this was a mistake on SSO's part. Because of this little mishap I understand that the hype for this horse is gone already basically but I still want to make a review video on it and I am going to try and keep it quite short and also take a look at the new dressage tack which nobody has seen before so if you're still interested in this video make sure you keep on watching and then now without any further ado let's just jump straight into taking a look at the Paso Fino horses. So here here we are at my home stable, Steve's Farm, and the new Paso Fino horses are available right over here, which is very noticeable because of the amount of people over here. In total, there are seven beautiful color variations. We have six over here at Steve's Farm and one in Fort Pinta, and just like always, the one in Fort Pinta is available to everyone, including non-star riders. Now, first, we're going to take a look at the ones over here in Steve's Farm, so let's go ahead and start with the one all the way on the right over here. This is the Pinto color variation. I'm not really sure what these are called called exactly because I'm not a pro at horse coat names. We all know that on this channel, but this is the Pinto and so far I kind of like it. Now a little bit more information about the Paso Fino. These horses cost you 950 star coins because they actually do have a special gait and also a special move. This is the first ever horse in Star Staple that is a special move and a special gait, yet it is not more expensive than any other horse from the past that had only a special move or only a special gait. So I feel like this this is a really good deal. And also these six out of seven horses available at Steve's farm you can get from off level nine. So that's pretty soon in the game. Now right next to it we have this one which is also beautiful. I love this one a lot as well. I love the little marking on the nose over here. That's so adorable. And also the markings on the hooves. Very cute. Then right next to this one we have this very dark brown which I also really love and you can't really see it well because of the front lock but it also has a marking on its face and I'm gonna like put the braids on this horse and then you can see that marking and I think it's gonna be so cute. So this one's also on the list. I'm gonna lose a lot of star coins today, that's for sure. And then over here we have this one, which, oh my goodness, Star Stable, please stop making these beautiful coats. Usually I'm not someone to go for this type of horse because I'm very much someone who likes bays, grays, and everything that is more of a special color and not necessarily anything in the chestnut realm, but this one's really, really pretty as well. Then we have this one, which is the buckskin, and I love it. I love it so much. This one's also on the list. Um, I'm a huge buckskin fan, especially in Star Stables. SSO does these buckskins so, so well. And if we take a closer look, this one also has dapples. And if you've been watching my videos for a long time, you would know I love dapples on pretty much any horse. And lastly, for the horses at Steve's Farm, we have a plain black, which we have in pretty much any horse breed. So I don't want to stick around this one for too long. I'm very curious to see which color the one in Fort Pinta is going to be. Is it going to be a gray? Is it going to be a regular bay? Is it going to be something else very special? I don't know. So we're going to go ahead and take the trailer and head on over there. Oh my goodness. You've got to be kidding me. It's a dapple gray. Oh my God. I love dapple grays. And this one is also so, so stunning. Again, the dapples, I die for dapples. I love it. I love it so, so much. So now that we've seen this one as well, I'm going to insert a little montage of me buying all the horses that I want to buy. Then then I'm going to show you all the horses I bought and then we're also going to take a look at their special move and all the other gates. So get ready for a little buying montage in three, two, one, here we go.
so here we are in my home stable with four of the new Pasofinos. I decided on only buying four because if you look at my star coins and compare it to the previous clip, it's kind of sad and I don't want to have to buy 10k star coins like tomorrow to buy more horses on the next release. So let's go ahead and take a look at the horses that I bought. First off, we have Falcon, which is my buckskin. Right next to the buckskin, we have the dapple gray, which I named Domino. And then on the other side, we have this one, which I named Butterfly. And the last one is the dark bay, which I named Bowie. And I love these horses so, so much. I just need to take every single one of them out for a second, change their main styles, and and then I'll be right back to show you the gates. I do want to show you all of the hairstyles that are available for the Paso Fino because we have five in total. This over here is the original, but with a little, what's it called? A little braid, mini braid, like a kid's braid in the front lock, which is kind of cute. Um, not really something I would buy, but if you want it, it's there. We also have these braids, which I think I'm gonna do on this one. We also have these braids, which I think I'm going to do on this one specifically because it really shows off the marking on the head. Then we also have the usual braids. We have the shaved mane, which I'm not really a fan of on the Paso Finos. Maybe you are. Let me know down below in the comments. And the last one is this one, which I do think is cute, but maybe not on the Paso Finos. I like this more like a half linker type of horse, like a... How do I say this? Like a thicker pony. That's what I like this on. But for now, we're gonna go for the braided mane on this one. And I think I'm gonna keep the original or do the braided mane on the other three as well. And then here we are again, and I chose a mane style for every single horse. I did get that standing up mane on this one over here, just because I think it does look cute on this buckskin. I kept the original mane on the dapple gray, and I chose the braids for these two over here. Now I need to choose a horse to showcase the gates on, and because butterfly over here is the lightest coat color I think I'm gonna go for this one so in case you're interested in seeing the gates they're coming up right now <music> So now that you've seen the basic gates of this horse, like a walk, a trot, a canter, I want to show you the special move as well as the special gate. So let's go ahead and start with the special move. You activate the special move by pressing your space bar on your keyboard and then your Pasifino will do this, which is the classic Fino. That's what it's called. It's just a very fast but short four bead rack with full collection, they call it on the website. Then if you want to go into the special gate, this is the special gate. You press forward one so your horse starts walking, then you press down shift and then you press forward another time. And then your horse does this, which kind of looks like the Tult on the Icelandics, but it's a bit different. This is called the Paso Largo, a four beat racking gate with moderate to minimal collection that the horse can do for a longer period of time. And yeah, with that being said, that was basically anything you needed to know about the new Paso Finos. I wanna know from you guys, what do you think of these horses? Go ahead and leave me a comment down below. And then now let's move on to the other topics of today's video. So today's update, it does not only include the new Paso Fino horses, from today on, we also have brand new dressage saddles and six new colors of blankets in the global store. So if we go ahead and click on the global store over here, this screen will pop up. And first we're gonna talk about the blankets. So we have six different color variations. We have a white, a black, a gray, a pink, a green, and a blue. And to be honest, these do look really good, especially in combination with the new 
dressage saddles. Would you look at that? That is so, so cool. Now, the saddles come in four different colors. We have a dark brown, a black, a light brown, and a white, and you can choose between silver detailing and gold detailing. So it depends on what you prefer. I am a silver gal, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab the black saddle on this blue saddle pad. Look at how cute that is. You can also grab this color, which also looks really good. I am so in love with these saddles and saddle pads. However, the saddles are 110 star coins or 10,000 Jorvik shillings, and the saddle pads are 100 star coins or 10,000 Jorvik shillings. They're a bit expensive. I do think the saddle pads are worth it because they look really good, and the saddles have always been expensive in the game, so I get it, but it's still very, very expensive. That's why I'm kind of holding back on buying these saddle pads because I do have a few in my home stable that still do look good and which I really love, so I don't feel like I need, need, need these, but I do wanna get them in the future because they're really, really cute. Please go ahead and let me know in the comments down below if you are planning on buying any of these saddles or saddle pads. I definitely wanna get a few colors of these and maybe one or two of these saddles in the future, but I'm just gonna spare up my star coins a little bit longer until, you know, I have plenty and I feel like I deserve to buy more tack because believe me, I have plenty of tack. The last location we need to visit is Moorland because in Moorland we have the return of the Windfells, which are for an entire month so if you missed out on these horses over here these magical horses and you still want to get one or two or maybe all of them they are now available in between the lighthouse and jasper's old farmhouse at gary goldtooth's usual location here's a picture of it and there is also a brand new item available in the bonus store so that's where we're headed now i'm going to show you the brand new item as the last topic thing of this video here we are at the bonus store and the new item is a bridal from what i read on the website it's the admiral's dressage bridal and it looks like this i am not gonna lie it does look kind of cool so if you're interested in this bridal and you are a lifetime star rider you can go ahead and come collect it over here in moreland and with that being said, that was everything for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. Also, if you would like to see more of my content, all you have to do is subscribe down below, as well as make sure to turn on those notifications to make sure you'll never miss out on anything I post. I post update videos every single Wednesday. Lastly, I do want to wish you the very, very best for the rest of the week. I hope you'll have an amazing week, and I'll see you again next week on Wednesday with a brand new update video. Bye! guys.